So you're setting up your fresh new copy of Windows 10 and you get to this screen right here. Now this screen is actually only going to happen on Windows 10 Home Edition, which is what most laptops are sold with. Now I'm on a virtual machine today, but it's basically the exact same thing you're gonna get on your PC. So it says, let's add your account and you basically have to sign in with your Microsoft account in order to set up your computer and sync all your things. Now there used to be an option right over here and it used to say something like domain join. And that was where you could just create a standard computer account like we have been for all those years. Well now that option has disappeared and you're only left with signing in with your Microsoft account or creating a new account. So is there a way to bypass this? Yes, there is, and it's really simple. So all you have to do is disconnect from your network. So if you're using an ethernet cable or a wired connection, just simply unplug the cable. If you are on Wi-Fi, like I am right now, you need to turn off Wi-Fi. Now Windows during the setup on a PC will ask you, you know, to set up your Wi-Fi and your password and all that. On a virtual machine, it's considered Ethernet. So you actually have to disconnect the, either turn off the Wi-Fi on your computer, or you can go up to your devices and go to network and disconnect your network adapter. Now you may be asking yourself, well, what if I have a laptop? How do I turn off Wi-Fi? Well, some laptops have physical switches on them, so you can turn Wi-Fi on and off. But some laptops I've seen, and this is what most of them are doing now, is in your function keys, there's actually a wireless uh, kind of icon on one of the function keys. And if you hit that, that'll allow you to turn your Wi-Fi off. So what do you do when the Wi-Fi gets turned off? Well, all you have to do is hit this back arrow right here and now it's going to reload this page to a domain join instead. All right, so after hitting that back arrow and it loads up again, you're gonna see that it looks a lot different this time. And now it just says, who's going to use this PC? So now we are in the domain join process. So this is like creating a traditional computer account. So uh, we can go ahead and just you know type your name in there, whatever and then it'll ask you for a password. If you don't want to put a password, you just hit enter and it continues on. But yeah guys, that's how you skip the Microsoft account. And once you uh, get rid of this part right here, uh, virtual machines being a little tricky on me here, but uh, once you do that, uh, you can reconnect your Wi-Fi. It's not gonna affect uh, anything or it's not gonna force you back uh, to a Microsoft account or anything like that. But yeah guys, that's how you do it. That's how you bypass the uh, Microsoft account. Uh, hope you all enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it. And I'll catch you all in the next one.